All right, problem 62 off the mass subject GRE practice test. S is the subset of R squared containing all of the points in the unit square uh, for which X or Y or both are irrational. So let's draw a picture. Here's my unit square. There's one. There's one. I'm talking about all the stuff in here, including the border. Uh, that's my unit square. S is the subset of that such that either the X coordinate or the Y coordinate or both are irrational. So I'm going to try my best to draw that. What you need to know is that irrational numbers are dense in the real. So what that says is that arbitrarily close to any irrational number is a rational number. Um, and, arbitrarily, and the rationals are dense in the real. So arbitrarily close to any irrational is irrational. I don't remember what order I said those in, but um, they're really close together. So if I were trying to draw S, then what I could do is start just by drawing all of the points that have an X coordinate irrational. So there's infinitely many in here, but I'm gonna kind of draw them even though this isn't an accurate drawing, um, this, this idea. Infinitely many of these lines arbitrarily close together, I get those. But that's not whole, my whole set because this only includes the points that have an irrational X coordinate. I might have a rational X coordinate, but an irrational Y coordinate. So what I can do is I can add in all of the points that have an irrational Y coordinate. And what that will do is give me my entire set. Note that there are infinitely many points of intersection here. I intersect at any point that has an X and a Y irrational. Get something that looks like this. All right, this doesn't have to be me, just do it, fine. This guy. I get this kind of infinitely small mesh is what's going on. If you can picture this infinitely small mesh, this is a super easy problem. I mean, sorry for saying that, that's super, that's kind of condescending, making solution videos and saying something super easy. Um, but it kind of is, right? Totally connected has got to be the answer. If I have this mesh, if you're walking up on a mesh, can you get from any point on the mesh to any other point on the mesh? Sure, it's easy. Pick, pick your favorite point. Here's one down here and make it as hard on me as possible. Go way the hell over here maybe. Yeah, no problem. Um, you just kind of snake your way around or you could walk over here for a while and over. Um, if you wanted an algorithm, you'd have to consider cases. Like if this guy's on the mesh, either it's X coordinate or it's Y coordinate is irrational. And similarly, if this guy's on the mesh, either it's X coordinate or it's Y coordinate is irrational. Um, if this guy has an irrational X coordinate, let's take him up to uh, some point that has an irrational X and Y coordinate. And if this guy... We can, if, if it's X coordinate is irrational, take him up to a point that has an irrational X and Y. If it's X coordinate is rational, then it's Y coordinate is irrational. So go left and right to a point that has an irrational X and Y. What I've done is I've connected this guy and this guy each to points that have irrational X and Y coordinates. So now I'm kind of at intersections of these guys. So now it's easy. Just take from one of those points, go up until you have the same Y coordinate as this guy or down as the case may be. And then left or right to, so that you have the same x coordinate and you're done. It's clearly, it's, I put a box around the wrong answer. Clearly, it's connected. Um, so the answer would be C. Um, I guess I should prove that all the other statements are false as long as I'm here. Um, and if you wanted, we could do something more formal for connected. But really, if I were trying to prove it were connected, I'd probably consider cases. If you're in the set, either this or this, do this, do this, connected, done. Um, so let's show why the rest of them are false. Uh, I think what you'll want to know is that an open set contains the neighborhood, contains a neighborhood, contains an open ball around any point in the set. That does not say the man right in this heart. Oh, this is getting even harder. In the set. That's what it means to be open. Hopefully you're fairly familiar with that. Closed. Um, the definition I like for closed is closed set as an open complement. There's other ways you can get to find either of these guys. Um, but often, especially for this test, if you just have these basic ideas, you can answer most of what they're talking about. So an open set contains an open ball around any point in the set. A closed set has an open complement. So is S closed? Well, no. Um, really, this is asking me, is S complement open? 
Um, it's not open because S complement contains points with X, Y, and I'm writing this way harder than I need to. Um, so that X and Y are both rational. So if you're in the complement, you need both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate to be rational. But if you take any point that has an X coordinate and a Y co coordinate that are rational, that is within this unit sphere, so consider, I don't know, one half, one half. This is clearly in S complement. So consider an open ball around this point. Well, there are irrational numbers arbitrarily close to one half. So no matter how small I make that open ball, I'm guaranteed to pick up a point that has, let's say, x, for example, an x coordinate that's irrational. And if it has an irrational x coordinate, then it is in s, therefore is not in s complement. So what I just did is I created an open ball around a point in the set, and the set does not contain that point. My point is that s complement is not open, so therefore s is not closed. Similarly, s is not open. Uh, because if I pick any point in here, I have an irrational, one of the two coordinates is irrational. Um, and an open ball around that irrational point must contain a rational point because the rationals are dense in their reals. Um, so kind of the same argument, this guy's not open. Totally disconnected. Uh, that is certainly false. To show that something's not totally disconnected, all you have to do is find a subset with more than one element in it that's connected. So let's see, I can probably even make one up. Let's say the line between the line segment between, uh, let's see, I want this to be an S. So in this, I need an irrational coordinate that's between uh, zero and one. So I don't know, like one over root two, the square root of a half, uh, one over pi maybe, one over E, whatever the hell you want. One over pi I'll do. 1 over pi 0 and 1 over pi 1. Note that every point on that line segment must fall in S because every point on that line segment has at least one irrational coordinate, namely the X coordinate. Uh, but this is more than one point, so my set is not totally disconnected because I just came up with an arbitrary with a subset of my set S um, that is connected. So that ain't my answer. Uh, compact. Compact means closed and bounded. This is, there's a theorem about that. Heine Burrell. I think the compact on our on any um, dimensional real space on R to the n power, I think is a Heine Burrell theorem. Means that you're closed and bounded. Um, we're not closed um, by part A. So we're not compact. So we're none of these things, but really when you're solving this problem, you probably don't want to do it by elimination. You probably want to save yourself some time and realize somewhat quickly that this set is connected uh, by making this argument about pick any two arbitrary points. Can you get from one to the other? And yeah, you could define an algorithm. If this were a paper and you're trying to prove it, I'm sure you could do it, but you don't need to. If you have this picture in your head that this is a mesh, it's fairly obvious that a mesh is connected. Think about your screen door. If you hold your screen door horizontally, are little pieces of it going to fall out? No, because they're connected to the rest of your screen door. Nothing's going to fall out because it's connected. Anyways, there's 62.